Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're back at the camp. The camp has funds. Reverend Swanson is not drunk. Hey, Mr. Morgan. Never mind, he totally is. You okay? It's not okay. I'm not okay. No one is okay. Oh, soup's ready, huh? Still bubbling and all that. I may as well eat some because, uh, as we all know, I'm a little bit underweight. So, let's have ourselves a bowl. Same old soup. Same old soup. Kieran. I need some stamina. Very badly. Mr. Pearson. All good there, Pearson? <laughs> Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should try your luck again with that bow. Oh, I have been. I have been. So it's what? Nine o'clock. How about we go to bed? I think that restores cores, right? And it's something we rarely do. Let's go join the campfire first. Hold on, Dutch. We all hate her. But Do we, though? This sort of peaceful and, and Abigail, she doesn't have time for that kind of nonsense. And I don't care enough in Miss Adler. Well, she may slit any one of our throats, come to think of it. But, but Karen. Karen hates her more than anyone. And she hates Karen. And Karen ain't one to hate unwisely. I've seen her cut men up more than once. If Grimshaw goes missing, I'll give you 20 to 1. Karen did it. Only she won't slit her throat. She'll cut her throat clean out and drink her blood. Mark my words, boys. That was interesting. I mean, she's got some points. All right, be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I love these campfire conversations, though. Super immersive. Stars are out. Oh, right. I was going to go to sleep. Let's do that. Whiskers are fine. Um. Um. We, we saw this before, right? Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well... It's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. I'm sorry, who is this? You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke I was going off to get married that we'd not speak again. Is this like uh, someone who used to run with the gang and now and kind of went off and but used to kind of be into us? Hmm. Well, isn't that interesting? That's the mom. 
Then who is this? This must be Mary. <laughs> I gotta check the backs. Okay, that's intriguing. And why is this here? When did we get this? A zoological compendium of Earth's creatures. Let's check it out. Badger, 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 skunk. Skunk. Alright, I'll take it. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Like, anyways, let's sleep. Sleep until morning. Eight hours. Oh, I'd love to just stay up all night and listen to them sing and play and all that, but... Gotta get some rest. Gotta up the cores. So we once knew a Mary Linton who seemed to have a thing for us, and now it doesn't seem like she's married, although she wasn't super clear about that in her letter, I don't think. I don't think. And might as well change her clothes, right? It's been way too long. Getting a little tired of this rugged outfit. Let's let's go fancy. Let's go, uh, hmm. Ooh. Average temperatures, brawler's outfit. Ah, the innocent, the pursuer, the rebel. Another innocent? Did I read it wrong? Oh no, it just, okay, jumped up. That's fine. Oh, I don't know. Summer gunslinger. The winter gunslinger's in our horse. That's good. Hot temperatures. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the, inno the Innocent. I don't feel like customizing it right now, so we'll just go with that. Hold on, did that say three outfits on my horse? Why are there three? The Innocent, the Winter Gunslinger, and... Oh, okay. Let's delete... Actually, let's just remove it from the horse. And, uh, delete this one. Eh. I delete them all. I'm not going to come back to it. So the Innocent, which is what we're wearing, and the Gunslinger, which is what we need when we go to cold, cold areas. Okay. Are we rested? Yes, we are. Cores are all restored. Every bar is up, and we are ready to get moving. Now, the big question is, what do we want to do right now? As far as what's available to do, we have Dutch. We always have Dutch. We have Javier down here. Eh. And Mary Linton... Of course, and the side side jobs, side quests. Debt collecting and all that, gun slinging. Oh, I don't know. Basically, I'm deciding between Dutch and Mary. You know what? Let's do, let's just do let's get the Dutch stuff over with because we know he's been wanting to do this for a while. And he's probably going to get mad if we don't. I mean, not really, but, you know, get immersed with me, guys. A quiet time. Find out from Dutch if they found a buyer for the stolen bonds yet. Okay, I don't think that's what he actually wants to talk about us. Talk with us, though. I thought the whole thing was to go to Blackwater and rescue someone or other. Sean or something, right? Morning, At any rate, Arthur. let's find out. Good morning, Tilly. So that fella who's hassling you in Valley... Yeah, 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 let's ask her about that. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. How are you? Okay, fine. Yes, Dutch, I'm coming. I'm coming. Nice new outfit. Even though we, like, never look at ourselves. Who's tent? Is that, uh, that's John's, right? John's tent. He needs to get up. It's morning, John. You awake yet? What, Arthur? <laughs> it's morning time. Time to get up. Up. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Oh, fine. You do that. So Dutch and who is this again? Mary Beth? I can't get in the tent. Must be a private place. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on it. Maybe Seamus. When we had <laughs> he ain't got that kind of money. Soon? 
I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. They? We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. They do. Arthur. What's yeah, going I haven't on? seen him in Micah. forever. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, and... son. Breathe. John's just they like tossing missed. and turning back there. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging him. Oh boy. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. Is no, he, though? I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. Would he, though? I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Whatever it takes, Dutch. Just Come look at those on, golden son. sun rays. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best horse to be taken, but Come that's what on, we got. Girl. She's rested up too. So, okay, ride to the Valentine Saloon. I thought he said Strawberry. Where is Strawberry anyway? Valentine. I'm probably looking right at it, unless it's just not on the map yet. It's very possible. Very possible. Where was our old homestead anyway? Way out here? Yep, right there. There's the Adler Ranch. I want to go revisit that sometime, especially uh, see see what Sadie has to say. She might be with us. Who knows? Alright, so to Valentine it is. We all know how to get there. Or do we? Okay, I've decided that this Morgan is just a very talkative horse. And she's going to grumble and complain no matter what we're doing, so... Lenny? Lenny? There he is. You look like you've been through it! I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. I do. Yes. I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. Mm. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. Yeah, I'll go uh, get him. You leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. Wait, what? It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Just a bar fight. Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Here we well, are. here we are. Look at that nice, beautiful white horse coming through. Back from more Can't examine the horse, apparently. All right, Missy, you stay right here. And I'll be right back, hopefully. So this bar thing, this is in Valentine, this is obviously our idea. Not Dutch's. Howdy, folks.
Partner? No, love it. Well, look at you. <laughs> he's he's like he does not have time for us. Really busy place right now. Alright, let's get those drinks. Lean on bar. Just one or two. Right off them? Of course. Sure, just sure. Just one or two. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but a lot Mike... of crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> Will you shut up? Will Keep you your nose out of it, up? mister. Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard. My lord. You men is dull. Says the guy talking like a duller than dull. <laughs> dullard. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. <laughs> Ain't no pleasing some folk. <laughs> I mean, look at this dude. <laughs> hey, the... trying to be friendly. I'm just not trying to cause trouble. <laughs> I did tell the bartender he wouldn't get it from me. Oh, oh that was not just one or two. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, oh, Lenny. Are? All right, where's Lenny? Oh, Lenny. Lenny? Lenny? Did he go upstairs? I probably actually don't want to know. We'll go look for him. That partner. A lot of people up here. Lenny! Oh. Lenny? Okay, Lenny! whoop. Get out! <laughs> oh, <sorry>. Don't mind me. <laughs> hey, Lenny! That wasn't Lenny. What are you doing, kid? Wait. Hello? Oh, <laughs> what is he doing, Lenny? You know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, they're used to it, probably. At least they didn't drop it on someone. <laughs> Why aren't you never married? <laughs> oh, look at this dude. That's the thing you see. <laughs> Lenny, <laughs> the jumping. The jump. Hey, it's cracking me up. Uh oh. Oh, look, look, look. We got, we got. I can't even walk. Come on. I can't fight in this state. Oh, dude, come on, Lenny. I'm gonna trip. Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? buddy. Shut up, Mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. Okay, then. Not okay. And that's what happens when you drink too much beer. I'm talking about this, what you're looking at right now. Arthur. Arthur. There you go. Oh, boy. <sighs> you gonna do I we better not run into Tommy in this state I swear whoops whoops okay what in the world somebody spike my drink or something let's go back in the bar wow I am I am out of it Lenny, where are you hiding now? everybody's Lenny Oh no! <laughs> this is this is awful. 
I love it. That's not him. That's the guy that was there before. Um, oh boy. That's not him either. Let's go to where he was before. Hey, Lenny! Lenny! Well, Lenny, Master. looking pretty fine there, aren't you? <laughs> look at the look at the, 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 the text on the bottom right that comes up. <laughs> Great tear. Oh, I love it. This game has so much details. <laughs> Is this him? Wrong person. Well, I'm guessing he's not wearing that. Let's go by the clothes. Generally, it seems to change everyone's face into Lenny. Dare I enter a room again? Not this one. Guys, to be or not to be? Not to be. That's not him, I don't think. He wasn't wearing that, was he? Alright. Oh, I can't wait. Let's see what happens if you... Uh, <laughs> if you greet one of the ladies. Lenny! <laughs> I look like a Lenny to you? I mean, you did for a second, not gonna lie. Okay. And I know, we checked this room before. And they're still at it. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> this isn't Lenny. Been looking all over for you, Lenny. Lenny, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, this never gets old. I mean, I guess it would eventually, but it's not getting old. Anybody in there? Nope. That's the back door. Is Lenny out here? Nope. All right then. Well, I have determined that Lenny is not upstairs. I, I wish I could remember what clothes he was wearing. It's not this dude, is it? <laughs> Found you, Lenny. <laughs> Just go home, will you? Nope. Hey, there he is. I think. <laughs> Why? Uh oh, let's get into a slap fight with Lenny. <laughs> why? Just why? <laughs> you're, a, you're a good friend to me, Arthur. Oh, I can see that. Uh, cheers. <laughs> he dropped cheers. it. Why is he so dirty? Not you again. No. Oh, whoa! <laughs> no, no, we don't dunk people. Oh, fine. Yeah, don't drown him, though. Come on, let him go. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna just accidentally kill someone. <laughs> Ugh. Too much to drink, pal. Uh-oh. Look lively. What did we do? Run! Run! Nope. <laughs> I tried. This is definitely the best episode yet. Oh, and there we go. You alive? I don't know. Am I? Arthur. You alive, Arthur? I want to die. Where are we? County jail. What did we do? What didn't know. you do? Oh, me neither. <sighs> yeah. You pair degenerates. <laughs> There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. I'll You're pay just it. Just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money? I do. It's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now. Oh, he paid it. Get out of here. Good chap. I don't want to see either you around here no more. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. So, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> At least you took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and 
feel sorry for myself. <laughs> I am gonna feel a little bit bad if he actually like gets hung or hanged or whatever the past tense of hang is because of our drunkenness. Well, technically I could sleep and refill that stamina again. Zero energy. Drugs. Let's go find some stamina drugs. Welcome, sir. You new patient? Um, I only keep select items on the shelves. Actually, yes, this is the, the first the time I've been here. And the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. Very well. Let's have ourselves away. Aw, it doesn't work. How pitiful is that? Indian tobacco. Miracle tonic. I got a catalog here. Health gear. Yeah, I know. I appreciate your kind. Jumped in the hotel. Apparently, it was some girl's pimp. What? You talking about Tommy? Cocaine gum. Examine. It uh, fully restores stamina and fortifies, but uh, damages the you know, core, so... Valentine's seen its fair share of famous gunslingers. My cousin Jim got into some scrapes here back in the day. Chewing tobacco, I think that's for the... Dead eye. Yeah, I was gonna say stamina. I would have been incorrect. Well, let's look at the catalog. Let's see if there's anything we can sell first. <sighs> Not a ton. I have stuff. Nothing worth anything that I want to get rid of, at least. Browse the catalog. Now, let me just look in here. I need a bath. Tonic, stimulants, horse care. No, I didn't want to look at that, but okay. Stimulants. Yeah, this is all for restoring the bars. The tonics... Well, they restored bars, too. So, I guess drugs simply restore bars, and, and that's it? Like, there's nothing there's nothing you can buy in here that'll restore cores. That's Books what the general Valentine's store is for. Twice as long as anywhere else in the state. Oh, sure they do, that's buddy. no coincidence. Sure they do. Okay, well, thanks for the... I'd wager that I am the best stock doctor in all New Hanover. Okay. Well, Let's, uh... Some shops run and listen business on the side. Oh, that's very interesting. Hi there. Mister? Morning. You look mighty suspicious. Hey, move it! Alright, let's see if there's anything I can actually eat. I can rob any shop by aiming my gun at the clerk. Nope, not a good idea to do that in Valentine. Why can't I open my... Oh, well. Oh, because I have to hold it, of course. So here's the tonics. Here's the provisions. Eh, that could work. Kentucky bourbon, although I'd had plenty to drink. Let's stay off of the provisions. Let's visit ourselves the general store. I knew you'd be back. Oh yeah, Have I'm back. So I forget what does what, and it's faster to just browse so the catalog. The stagecoach from Bob Crawford. I figure it probably weren't his in the first place. That was me. Just so you know. Now, let me have a look. Provisions. I love these stores. Canned food, fresh food, dry goods, liquor, and tobacco. Well, I know peaches are great. Good for stamina and health. Pineapples are great, apparently, too. Or, 
Uh, let's buy a couple of these. That's done. They're on sale because I'm so honorable, I believe. There we go. And a couple of canned peaches Good for the road. With you. Actually, five of them. Nope, they're sold out. Okay. Thank you, sir. That should be good. Indeed. Now, apricots and apricots. Good stuff. I love the details. Like, even the did he throw them over the counter? Nope. He just they disappeared. The, the peaches, the, the apricots or whatever they are, are full, and as soon as you drink them, eat them, or whatever, the can immediately goes empty. Okay. Thanks. Now, since we're here, let's go visit Mary. We loved once in true, too. Did I miss something about the first one? I have no idea. But we're going to go straight behind Valentine to the north and see what we can see. I can't prove it, but the bank... I'm curious what they're putting up here. This has... It's made progress since, I think, since we started playing. Morning, dude. Morning. And there's no signs or anything. So it could be anything. It's definitely a business, though. What's up, Horsea? Ain't forgotten you. Oh, no, we haven't, but... I'm gonna trade my horse to the other one. Don't mind me. Just pretended to be a horse. Hello. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Horsea and... Butch. <laughs> End up to you too. Saddle up. Upgrade? Oh, that's just that stuff. Uh, no. I'm good. How's the weight on this horse? Is it still underweight or do they feed it? They probably don't feed it much. They probably do. I mean, it probably just doesn't change. Wrong button. Horse. It is fit. So I don't know if it was underweight before. And by the way, thanks to Maya B, who was like being super helpful and commenting on <laughs> nearly every video, something I missed, and it's much appreciated because there's a lot to miss in this game, and I'm the type of person that misses most of the things that are easily missable, and sometimes even the things that are not so easily missable, I still miss them. So <laughs> thanks again, much appreciated. Now, I think she's in this place back here. Is that some buddy's pig? Or is that just a wild hog? Berkshire pig. Ah, I'm so tempted to shoot it, but I don't want to go off on a wild pig chase. Chadwick Farm. I think that's the one she said she was at. Sounds familiar at any rate. Nowhere to hitch my horse, so I'll just plop the Ralph right here. Now, about this Mary. I should have taken a bath. Taken. Yes. Wow, hello. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. No explanation. Mm -hmm. A collar for you. A collar. Huh. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I love the brooch she's wearing. Happened a while ago. 
Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Arthur. Come on. Uh, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me <laughs> beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Uh-oh. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Absolutely. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Isn't Carmody Dell the place where we robbed those cousins by marriage? Of Seamus? I'm pretty sure it is. I just did the slowest 360 ever. Um. Okay, let me. I think. Yep. Yeah. Well. Oh, so yes, that Carmody Dell is that place, I think. However, what's this? Amos Bethel? What? She meant it's near it, not in it. So that, that makes sense. Just admiring the map. Yeah, I guess we could do that next. By the way, Dutch told us to go get Micah, and the mission objective was go get drunk, so that's funny. He's not going to like that, so I probably won't go back to camp anytime soon, but yes, we will. Um, Any last things I can do before ending the episode? I could check the theater. Oh, Five Finger Filet. That's new. I think. Poker. Um, I tell you what, let's stop by the saloon to just peek at the barber and see if he can clean us up a little bit. I'm not talking dirt-wise, not hair-wise, but I doubt it. Um, the only other option I see for getting clean is probably to sleep, but I'm not certain. Then, let's go play some Five Finger Filet. Time to go, boy. How you been, Butch? Good boy. And yeah, I I've, I keep forgetting like the. Okay, I know you can drift it a little bit, and you can. You can oh, you can do that, but that's kind of weird. You have to like do your pinky on control and shift at the same time. I guess if I was about to fly off a cliff, I could try that, but then that's kind of what. Well, I was gonna say that's what control and space is for, but that's hit or miss apparently. Okay, anyway. Yeah. 
Sorry, Butch. How you doing, boy? <laughs> Not too good. Oh. Hello, whoa. Well, this is fine. Bro. have another drink and then go see your wife. So that's what you do, huh? Sleep with another man's woman. I aim to be made a fool of. Uh, did he outright kill that poor dude? Well, not my issues. Welcome back, and I'm like I. Morning, partner. All right, let's visit Mister Barber. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Someone brought some new girls into town. Caused quite a stir. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't know you could do that. 20 options. Oh, maybe... Is this something I could do on my own, but this is like a quicker way? That's interesting. So it doesn't look like this is actually going to clean me up, so... But, I know we wanted to get rid of the chops. So let's do so. How much is that going to cost me? 23 cents. Still dirty as ever. Well, hold on. Before I go. What's it to be? Got something in mind? You can trim the hair. How cool is that? Oh, I didn't know that. You can't do that at your tent, obviously, because, you know, you can do some pomade for 99 or <laughs> for 90 cents. And styles, you can style your hair. I wish you could, like, left parted. Left parted fade, middle parted. Um. Wow, we got all kinds of options here. Oh, even more. Oh, we have right parted right now. Okay. I didn't know the hair actually grew out, too. That's so cool. Swept back. Um, nah. Buzz. No, nah, nah, he doesn't. Uh, okay. He's lo he looking a little bit like, um, the dude from Breaking Bad. Just about anything with this hair, I reckon. I'm not going to go uh, all, all Mr. White. Let's just go. Let's just go swept back. Um, with the fade. Can I not rotate at all? No. Thank you. Looks okay. Indeed it does. Who needs hats when you have hair like that? That looks mighty good. Okay. <laughs> now I just... That about wraps things up. I just seriously yeah. need a bath, so... If someone could tell me how to get clean, do I have to take a nap or what? I don't want to take a nap right now, though, because it might... Oh, that poor guy's still laying there. It might make the five-finger filet go away. Gun store. Yeah, I should probably... You know what? Actually, I need rounds for my Springfield. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? It sure is. I know you can't recognize me, because of my awesome new haircut. Well, sir... Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Yeah, that gets around fast. So, Springfield Rifle. Can we put a scope on this thing? Components. Iron sights. Scope. Ooh, look at this. So, what exactly does this do? Does this matter? Like, does it adjust the zoom range at all? I don't... I'm, I'm gonna go with the short scope. I guess I could buy both, but nah. Anything else? Stock? Nice. What's a wrap? It's a wrap. <laughs> the barrel. Rifling? Oh, nice. Makes the range even farther. 
Um, iron sights does not go along with scope, so... Yeah, that's just weird. Yeah, I think we're good on components. What about styles? Engravings? Varnish? Mm. Nah. Uh, carvings? Oh, that's so cool. Um... No, nothing yet. It's very cool, though. Full engravings. Barrel. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, that's just the, the metal parts. Okay, nah, I'm not too interested in that. Metals. Oh, this is so customizable. Yellow? Gold? Eh. That's good for now. Now, ammunition, though. Oh, well. 30? Let's buy those. Buy those again. 60 rifle cartridges should last me quite a while. No, I'm going to go with 90. There we go. As far as the Cattleman Revolver goes, though, what can we buy for this? Iron sights, improved sights. Nah, I don't think that's super necessary. The barrel, the length of the barrel. Ooh, yes. I am going to do that. Long barreled cattleman's revolver. Rifling. Range. Eh. Grip. I could do this. Ironwood grip. It doesn't improve anything, but look at how beautiful it is. I'm going to go with the pearl grip. I'm spending way too much money in this store. Styles, uh, no, I think I'm fine. And ammunition, how much do I have? 102. That's plenty. I don't really care about anything else. Okay. Thank you, sir. How many arrows do I have? Hmm. It doesn't really tell me. I guess there's one way to find out. Um, actually... No, he doesn't sell... He doesn't sell arrows? Like, the bow wasn't an option on there. I thought he did, though. Let me see what's available. Huh. Um... Well, there's arrows. I have 23. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Better luck next visit. Better luck next visit. I had a lot of luck this visit. Now, I heard tell of a rumor. But there's some five-fingered fillet going on around here somewhere. Trying to figure out where that might have been. It might be farther out this way. Fine, I'll look at the map. Okay, it is over there by that house. Or maybe it's in the saloon itself. That's a good possibility. Or around the back. Let's, let's check in the saloon first through the window. I can't see in the daytime. Let's go in. Hello. Thirsty again, are you? Thirsty again? I didn't did I have a drink last time? I maybe mean, maybe. Maybe I did. Thank you. So, you guys heard about any five finger fillet? Gentlemen, dude looks like Owen Wilson. Hello. From uh, you guys ever seen that 
Shanghai Noon. If you haven't, go drop what you're doing, watch it right now. Why is it gone? I must have just passed the time. It must go away after like 240 something. Excuse me. You best watch your mouth. You got a big mouth. <laughs> oh yes, I do. Do you want me to teach you a lesson? Oh, you're just you're just, you're just going for it, huh? Oh, you too. You all want some, do you? Whoa. Okay. Oh no! Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Oh, Horsea. <laughs> you did the right thing. I'll have men on it right away. Not Horsea. Right, Butch. No I'll take care of this. Oh, I gotta go. They're close. I can feel them. Leave no stone unturned. You know who you're after. Only one job left to do. Can't believe that, that happened, dude! Quit stumbling all over the floor, ground, whatever it is. Well, I'm gonna have a bounty on there now for sure. <sighs> Can you believe that, though? Like, I must have been holding the. Uh, the right mouse button, and then I happened to click one time. Shot him right in the top of the head. Unbelievable. Isn't that right, Twitch? Unbelievable. Yeah, there, boy. Well, what an episode this has been. All kinds of crazy stuff going on. And honestly, I'm not going to have to look up YouTube's policies on the whole um, what we walked into in the bar. Because I don't know if I'm allowed to even show that. Like, details, you know what I mean. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay then, well. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.